The White House says Florida alone accounts for 20 percent of all new cases across the country this week. Good evening. I'm Lisa Bell. Matt Austin has the night off. The state released its weekly COVID-19 report today. There were more than 45,000 new cases in the last week. The new positivity rate is 11.5 percent. That is more than doubled in just two weeks. Meantime, the number of vaccine doses administered hit a 10 week low. Another 224,000 people were were vaccinated in the week ending on July 9th, compared to more than 400,000 a month ago and over 800,000 in early May. The state says 59% of Floridians 12 and older are vaccinated. New 6's Crystal Moyer talked with medical experts today about the new data and what we should all know moving forward. I spoke with local officials who are pleading for people to follow the science when it comes to COVID-19 and our reporting. We're using official national and state COVID-19 data to give you perspective on how the virus is affecting your community. But there are a few things that you need to keep an eye on. We're over the virus, but the virus is not over with us. Yeah. Dr. Todd Husty, medical director of the Seminole County Health Department, says most medical professionals predicted COVID-19 positivity rates would increase after mask and social distancing mandates were lifted. Latest data from the state health department shows more than 45,000 new cases have been reported with an 11.5% positivity rate. That's about four times higher than this time last month. And take a look at these charts from the state. While cases have been rising in the past four weeks, vaccination numbers are falling. We've been noticing that for what, three weeks now, maybe four. It sort of started going the wrong direction and it just keeps going that way. So what does positivity rate really mean when everyone isn't being tested on a consistent basis? Positivity rate is a little bit hard to gauge because if we're worried about could I have the, the disease, everybody shows up and the positivity rate will be low, right? But if just the sick people are going in, the positivity rate will be high. So it kind of depends who's going to get tested. Dr. Husty says along with weekly positivity rates, we should also be paying attention to the number of COVID-19 hospitalizations. But that data was eliminated from the state COVID report last month. University of South Florida epidemiologist Dr. Jason Salami has been tracking the outbreak for more than a year, compiling data from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The rates of new COVID-19 admissions have gone up for every age group. So obviously, you know, a combination of things are driving this like the Delta variant. Dr. Salemi says latest data from hospitals who report to the health department shows 2,800 patients are currently hospitalized in Florida due to COVID-19, a 73% jump from last month. 97% of all new hospitalizations are among people who are not fully vaccinated. And so the good news out of all of that is it looks like most instances of severe illness and death from COVID-19 are preventable. The message to Florida families. Please follow the science. A, get vaccinated. But if you choose not to, follow the science of at least wear your mask and social distance because you're at risk. The latest data shows that the age groups with the highest positivity rates and the lowest vaccination rates are those people between the ages of 12 and 29. And that's why Dr. Husty is encouraging everyone to get vaccinated who are able. In Seminole County, Crystal Moyer, getting results, News 6.